What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now now we are fighting yin and yang and this fight has a lot of annoying factors first one this is a luck based fight because it depends who you start with. If you start with Yin, your strategy has to be different. If you start with Yang, your strategy has to be different. Other one, this is a solo fight with Kate Sid. But still the most annoying point is that just before this fight, you have to fight an adjudicator enemy. And he drains almost all my MP all the time because he is weak to magic at some point And he is weak to lightning, like weak to physical attack at some point. So that is very annoying. So, I really hope you guys are able to deal with the adjudicator better than I am. For this fight, you guys need to hope that you start with Yang at the start of the fight because he mostly does magic damage and you can easily dodge them while building up your ATB. Once your ATB is built up, hit him with your strongest fire spell because he is weak to fire and that should take him down. And once he is pressured, he will turn back to Yin and in that mode, you can hit him with a Mughal attack or his health will be really down once he is staggered. The goal is to get him staggered. Once he's staggered, the fight is pretty much over. That is all you have to worry about here. Oh, oh, it. Ah! You could have warned me. Game over, pal. Yeah. 
Here's what you want! better for a wee lie down. So then, onwards and upwards? <laughs> 